Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a Western Kentucky field where a John Deere 9600i self-propelled forge harvester is chopping the 2019 corn crop to produce feed for dairy cows. In the video, we're going to take time to look at this machine's specifications, talk about its different options and features, as well as its price tag. We'll climb up in the cab to visit with the operator to see what it's like running a large self-propelled forge harvester like this one, as well as talk about why the farm is harvesting their corn a little bit taller than you might normally see a forge harvester cutting it. But first, let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear this big machine in action. Easy. Uh, it's 
it's, it's a nice machine. Now, when you're running a big forage harvester like this, how many acres in a day are you trying to harvest? Uh, probably about 65 to 70 acres a day. Well, that's a pretty good day. It's a lot of tonnage coming off the field, and looks like you're making about 23 tons to the acre here this year. Yes, that's right. And then I imagine that having the auto steer makes it a lot easier to focus on filling that truck and not have to worry about where the machine's headed. Uh, yes, it, it makes it a whole lot better than trying to watch your rolls and load the truck too. What kind of fuel consumption does a big forage harvester like this get? Getting about 9.9 .9 gallons an hour. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I mean, it's a it's a big job. You want to have the power to get across the field. And so, how many hours in a day do you put in when you're chopping? When do you get started in the morning, and when's quitting time? We put in about 10, 10 to twelve hours a day. Uh, we can see this truck is just about full. It's going to head back to the farm to so unload into the ag bagger. Top fill. Now, does this forage harvester have guidance where where the guidance can actually control the spout and kind of auto fill if you need to? Yes, it does, but I I don't ever use it. I just just do it manually. The machine's also equipped with the Harvest Lab 3000. That's what the I stands for, the model number, and that will allow the farm to see their moisture levels and get a good reading of the crop as it runs through the spout here into the wagon, headed to be wrapped in a silage bag. As we approach the headland again, we can see the uh, auto steer is on. So it's driving itself following these rows. And then when we get up to the headland, the operator will take over and uh, turn it around on the next pass. So once you hear that beep, that means it's already reached the headland and it's time to steer the machine into the next eight rows. Now this front uh, part with the two rubber pieces, is that a sensor that keeps it on the road? Yeah, it's the road sensor. Yeah, that's what I'm running off of, is through the GPS road sensor. Okay. So what, I know it's got the GPS globe on it, what, yeah. what does that get used for? It's just, you got to have that to, to get the road sensor to work. Okay. That little, that little thing there with it's orange, you're running on your on your GPS when it's green, it's your row sensors. Okay. So it's green and on the row sense now. I'll try to zoom in on that. So once you hear those beeps, the auto guidance has kicked in and taken over. What what um controls and functions do you have there on the joystick to run? Well, this here is your spout to take it back and forth as you flip up there at the top. Then you've got your one to raise it all the way up on the ends. A number two is one setting. If we want to cut it so high, the number three is the lower setting. And this other here is to raise your head right and down. So basically a lot of good quick control function is hit the number and that piece of the machine jumps into action. That's right, yes. And it looks like we're traveling about four miles per hour across the field here. And you were talking about the height. I noticed out in the field the corn's a little bit taller than normal as far as what you're chopping. Um, what is the thought behind that this year? That's the protein. They want better protein if you, if they say if you chop it up a little high. So again, you're getting about at least three more tons per acre this year, so you can kind of play with the protein and chop a little bit higher and not 
lower your protein there once it's getting fed to the cows, which sounds like a pretty good way to go. Yeah. Well, thanks for the ride, and it's always neat to see these forge harvesters. It's one of my favorite times of the year to be out in the field seeing this equipment. As we discussed up in the cab, the corn in this field is being cut higher, leaving taller stalks. The farm is found by chopping the corn a little bit higher, they're increasing the protein value of the feed that they're harvesting. Also, this farm will come across all of their corn acres with a planter and put in a second crop of sorghum right behind the forge harvester. This sorghum will grow over the summer and fall and then be chopped for additional feed in the fall. So they have a lot of tons of silage coming off of these fields and leaving the corn a little higher improves the feed value and they're still gaining by putting that second crop of sorghum in after the harvest. With the farm forge harvesting 65 to 70 acres of corn a day with the John Deere 9600i, it takes a number of semi-trucks, tractors, and forge wagons to keep up with the chopper. These trucks and wagons go back to the farm and unload into a bagger that wraps the silage to help ferment it to become a feed for the cows on the farm. Let's take a brief look at the 9600i specifications. It's a brand new machine for model year 2019, spending its first full year out in the field. It's manufactured at John Deere's Harvester Works in Zweibrücken, Germany. It's powered by a 13.5 liter John Deere engine rated at 616 horsepower. It features a ProDrive transmission, a 290 gallon diesel fuel tank, an 11 gallon DEF tank for clean engine solutions and has a top rated speed of 25 miles per hour. According to JohnDeere.com, the list price for this self-propelled forge harvester is $543,877. This 9600i is equipped with a John Deere 778 row independent head. It harvests 19 feet 7 inches of crop. That's eight rows of corn in this 30 inch row spacing in the field. And the price tag on a 778 header is $121,479. The I in the 9600i model number stands for intelligent. And that indicates that the Forge Harvester is equipped with the John Deere Harvest Lab 3000. This accessory has on the go measuring of moisture, dry matter, protein, starch, fiber, neutral detergent fiber, acid detergent fiber, and sugar. The Harvest Lab 3000 can take 4,000 measurements per second. Harvest Lab is an $18,250 option for the 9600 Forge Harvester, but it's a very crucial component that allows the farm to know exactly what's happening as the crop's being harvested and what they're putting away in storage to ferment to become feed for their dairy cows and what they can expect it to do when the cows are eating it. This machine represents a major harvesting investment for the dairy operation. When you take all of JohnDeere.com's list prices for the Forge Harvester, the Corn Head, and the Harvest Lab, the total list price is $701,856 to harvest the corn crop. That's a major investment, but it's a good one to move the type of tons that this farm needs to feed their dairy herd. In addition to harvesting the corn, this forge harvester will be chopping sorghum as well as seven cuttings of alfalfa in one year. So they really maximize their output from the inputs that they're putting into this machine. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in this western Kentucky cornfield seeing the John Deere 9600i self-propelled forge harvester taking in the 2019 corn crop to process as feed for the dairy cows on this farm. If you would like to see more videos like this one, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to answer every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. Hey.